is a 99 pound sewing machine that is strong enough <coughs> excuse me strong enough to go through one two three four layers of vinyl I've been through with it so I know it works and the end goal is to end up with uh, this was a practice one I made a seat cushion for something I don't remember what it was now the end goal is to have something like that a little bit feng shui, so it's just plain vinyl with the piping in, in the join that rolls around the cushion. That's what it looks like on the back. Four layers, all, in the, all lined up, pinched together and just run through the machine several times. So that's that. Headlining. Never done one before, but it can't be brain surgery, so I've altered up the headlining. I've got a new carpet, I've got just about everything, so it doesn't matter what car you're doing. Order all your bits up, get everything ready to go, um, so that when you get started, nothing holds you up. Now, this is the first, uh, I'll say the first panel, I've already done a couple because uh, I wanted to practice them, and I'm really pleased with how they've come out, so I'm going to show you how I did the first one, which will be this one, and then we'll stick all the four door panels on, on the Morris Minor, because they're all ready. And then we'll start putting the um, roof lining out and uh, yeah, hello kitty. Start putting the roof lining out and um, get rocking and rolling with that. So I'm just going to have a drink, get rid of my croaky voice, get ready, and we'll be back. Right, cleared the bench off. Um, got the first panel down. Um, you can buy these uh, for the Morris Minor, brand new. So I'm not really. Uh, Never really worry about chopping bits up and whether it's going to go right or not, just do it. Worst thing you'll have to do is buy a new panel, about 60 quid. But uh, what this is going to cost in material is probably about a tenner. That, um, that material I bought off the internet was uh, £10 a metre. Piping, uh, I think they charged me a, uh, only a pound or two a metre to uh, stitch that up as they use the material you buy. Come on, come. Keep your cardboard. Not cardboard, what is it? Hardboard. Intact, just roll the, uh, roll the material off. It wasn't too difficult. Went for the rubbish pile. Right, okay. Now what we want to do is, uh, it's a little bit wobbly that, but that will live. Right, now what we want to do is cover it in um, foam. So, we stick the foam, foam on the, uh, stick the foam on the table, spread it out. That's going to go. Okay, super. Right, on to one of the next bits of uh, kit you're going to need. This is spray adhesive, exceptionally strong adhesion for a wide range of demanding uses. Lovely. As long as it sticks, it's all good. Okay, just pick the end off, I'll be back in a sec. Right, okay, I've picked the end off the uh, can. And uh, here we go. Cover it all over. Make sure it sticks. You could almost do this indoors if it wasn't for the smell and the the spider cobwebs at the end of it. Right. That looks like it's got enough glue on it. Okay. Yeah. Drop the back edge on. 
and then as you let the front down just make sure it's all tight and stretched and pushed out I'll check yep no creases excellent oh my scissors have gone walkies now back in a second Right, I found my scissors and uh, now we're making progress. Just run the scissors around the edge as best as you can. Reasonably straight, reasonably straight edge, the straighter the better. Not brain surgery, just a bit of common sense. Right, so. Uh, I'll finish off chopping around there. Don't need to see hours of that on the video. And then I'll lay the material out and um, we'll come back when we're chopping that up. So I'll be back in a second. Right, okay, that's uh, been sponged and uh, cut off. It's not really very straight, the sponge, but that will do because the uh, edge of the cardboard will. Uh, Help straighten up the um, actual edge of it. All right, see if that bit fits in there. When you when you're laying your panels over material to um, cut them out, try and uh, make the most of your material so it goes as far as uh, possible. Make the most of your material, but leave yourself enough to trim and re-trim. Now, what I hope to do with this door panel is cover it in blue. Not what I hope to do, what I know I'm going to do, because I've already done one, is cover it in blue and then round the edge I'll have, can you see that on the camera? I'll have piping stuck round the back as a bit of a contrast because my car's blue, quite similar in shade to the blue of the material, so we want to um, have a bit of an edge set things up. Right, okay. Pencil. Now that's going to be a little bit of, not necessarily waste material, because I'll use that for some of the smaller pieces, uh, which we'll, we'll cover as we go. Another tool there you're gonna, gonna, you might need, or might make the job useful. Hot glue gun, brilliant things. Right, okay. Now I want a nice big overlap around the edge, because I want to stick it to about there on the panel so that there's plenty of glue to keep it all tight and the trim clips that hook back in will help hold the material tight and down as well so what I'll do is I'll just run the pen around the um, panel like so now I place the, I place the panel far enough away from the back edge that. I won't need to um, trim that, that will just be folded over. So do the roughly the same, give yourself uh, a couple of inches on uh, another, another pen mark, pencil mark by freehand. We'll do we we'll chop round there, and then we'll do the same with this, we'll just run the scissors around it. Right, okay, I'll cut that and we'll, we'll come back. 